It's a great pleasure. Yes, it's a tremendous scene of cattle farming and no doubt considered as the great professions of Gatti community in Himachal Pradesh. Sanskrit word Himachal is originated from two words. Him or snow and achal or slopes, it is a snow laden beautiful state where Gaddi tribal groups inhibit with other seven tribes. Replication of Panini's Ashtadhyay concites that Gaddis were derived from Sanskrit word Gaptika and the term shepherd for them is used in Hindi dictionary. It is believed that Gaddis are the descendants of the Aryans who came from Central Asia and settled down in Bharmore subdivision of Champa and Kangra districts in Himachal Pradesh. Their inhibited areas are popularly known as Gadiran, meaning the home of the Gaddis. According to the 2011 census, Gaddi population is enumerated as 1,78,130. Gaddis inhibit in hill-logged areas and their traditional occupation is cattle farming or pastoralism which imitates a system of producing large herding animals to fulfill subsistence of daily life. They locally use the word mal to indicate their sheep and goats. Mostly they domesticate sheep and rarely goat, cow, buffalo, donkey and mule. They graze their livestock in their surroundings or sometimes reach other regions where there is a phenomenon favorable environment. The trained Gaddi's dogs are accompanied to protect the herds from thieves and predators. Gaddi dogs help the shepherd to accommodate herds in a loop and make direction especially at the time of movement. During winter season, ice fall is extremely recorded all over the Gaddi homelands and therefore their cyclical movements from highland to lowland and further returning are accomplished every year. In their every movement, they accompany with their cattle. They carry blanket, few clothes, utensils and implements and move with cattle. They primarily rear sheep and goats to get milk and meat for their own purpose, but mostly they earn their loin part by selling milk cattle directly, their wool and dry the skin. They use wool to make shawl, blanket, cap, etc. for themselves and also for selling. They also use dry the skin of sheep and goats to make bags. Many of the Gaddis are landowners and they practice terrace cultivation and produce various crops like maize, millet, paddy, wheat, barley, etc. Fulans and braise are grown in places where soil is too poor. Beans and potatoes are also grown in few farms. Apples, apricot, walnuts and many other fruits are produced by them to earn amount. Besides these, numbers of daily vijar are not so petite among Gaddi community. They also engage themselves to do shopkeeping. Some of them build up hotel and restaurant and earn amounts from tourists throughout the year. Many of them are doing private or government jobs. Gaddis build up typical mountain houses by using local materials like bamboo, leaves, wood, stone, etc. But most of the houses in urban areas are pakka. All houses are having oblique roofs to redirect snowfalls. Their houses are constructed very close to other houses in order to use little space. Mostly, they use the space of ground floor for accommodating livestock, storing grains, firewood and socio-cultural gatherings. Almost there are houses in urban areas are having bathroom facility, an individual septic toilet which is connected to an open drainage system and they use water from tap. But in rural areas, they bring water from natural resources and prefer to take bath in natural water resources like river, lake or waterfalls. Electric connection is mostly found available in almost all Gaddi houses general store or markets, roads, transportation facilities, post offices, schools, primary health care centers, banking and other basic facilities are rarely available there. Beside these, telephone exchange and mobile towers are also functioning there. 
that the people desired to constitute nuclear family where is joint families are still existed in rural areas they belong to patriarchal families and father is considered as head of family he is empowered to take decision in any socio cultural matter wife and daughters stay in house to take care of others while husband and sons are engaged to herd the cattle gati people are clan exogamous they are having many clans like nakdan banjaru gangeta hafli kutrej etc all clan members participate in nuala and other ceremonies they trace their ancestry through male line they connect with each other by consanguineal and affinal kinship relations their kinship maintains unity harmony and cooperation during pregnancy women is restricted to go near to the stream or forest pregnant women is shifted in cattle shed for the at least 10 days to avoid infection midwife attends such delivery after 21 days of childbirth gunta worship is organized for blessing newborn the new mother is fed a mixture of ganga jal milk cow urine ghee and curd for her purification nowadays they also avail institutional delivery they prefer negotiation and monogamy form of marriage marriageable age of boys and girls are 15 and 18 years respectively they depute priest to fix marriage and then they celebrate jyot gudmeer drink party they worship shiva and parvati and then arrange marriage with common feast the commonly practiced bata sata or marriage by exchange in a special case they are permitted to remarry both leverage and sororate marriages is permitted there divorce is rarely practiced among them after that they normally cremate the dead body near to a river or a stream in case of death by infection they bury the dead body the person whose death is going to be happen is placed on the bed directing head in north side and his relatives given rupee coin rice wheat maize and cow in charity they believe that soul of the deceased person can cross the river or stream by catching tail of cow they sacrifice goat on 13th day after death the inheritance of property known as manda passed through male line in accordance with their norms daughter has no right to get share of immovable properties of her father but nowadays their traditional norms are being changed and in some cases daughters inherit properties of the deceased father the status of gaddi women are almost equal to men during their childhood there is no any discrimination in the issue of their rearing fooding clothing and schooling but their marriage is performed at the early age after marriage they are to shift to the in-laws families gaddi women are also restricted to participate in few religious activities they are not allowed to be member in village council but nowadays the educated women are mostly doing jobs they rarely speak their own gaddi or gadki dialect and use takri for writing it is known that takri was an official script of north and northwest india from 17th to 20th centuries nowadays gaddi people rarely speak in gaddi which is an endangered situation stated by unesco They speak in Hindi and Devanagari is used for writing. Their diet includes maize, bread and pulses, babru, mithru, chuk etc. Their traditional foods are simply prepared by using vegetables, fruits, legumes, nuts, seeds and curd. They collect edible plants, stems, leaves, tubers and fruits from their nearest forest. As non-vegetable items, they consume egg, fish, dried fish and meat. they drink lugdi goranji and chol especially at festival seasons they use their traditional implements such as spade plow and jaljanga kale axe sickle etc for agriculture purpose the pastorals use big scissor and knife to cut the wolves and sheep they use utensils for eating food called tamsa and for cooking karhai patila and others 
Kadiz used bamboo made a special type of cylinder shaped basket to collect food materials. Artman utensils are still existed in rural areas. Men usually wear ghagra, chola and pajama. They put on muffler, woolen belt and hemachali topi. Women wear cholu, doru, choli and reta. They also use sweater and shawl. At the time of weddings, groom wears lancha, pajama and gaddi sehra. Bride wears lanchadi, cholu, doru, ridas, etc. Gaddi women use gold or silver made ornaments like dhor, kante, chatta, chandrahar, anguti, chidi and kulu. And men wear necklace, finger ring, etc. Different traditional dances like dhangi, dori, gurai, dandra, others are performed by gaddis in several occasions. Their women perform dandra and nachong dances, while anchali is performed by men in wedding. They also perform chatradi jatter mask dance. They sing various folk songs like suni, bhonku, folmu, ranju and druna with turi, dhol, basuri, nagfini, karnal and kansi musical instrument. Many of Gaddi people are much experienced to draw the walls of their houses, make rangoli on their courtyard, create colorful pictures such as flowers, plants, birds, animals, mountains, etc. Their cattle farmers and the side products of their sheep farming are wools and leather. Wools are used to make different shawl lens himachali topi. The woolen cloth is woven by handloom called rach. They use skins to make shoes and bags. They participate in Minjal, Bharmor, Nalwari Cattle Fair, Sui Mela, etc. Festivals of Gaddis are Sir Sankranti, Luhuri, Patroru and Sankranti, Mag Purnima, Shivratri and Holi. In every festival, they sacrifice goat or sheep. All religious activities are organized by traditional Chela. Subordinates of Chela are known as Charpatnath and priests. They believe pure and impure souls and calm that if soul is purified, it may become benevolent. Gaddis are much interested to listen folk tales. Their folk tales are related with their religious beliefs, evil spread, myths, legends, love, etc. Normally, old male or female Gaddi member narrates the folk tale titled Sunni Bhunku, Kunju and Chinchlo, etc. and young people carefully listen it. It is informed that formerly youth dormitories were existed in Gaddi's areas. There both adolescent boys and girls used to halt under the supervision of elders. They exchanged information and young groups used to gain skills from elders. But nowadays, you dormitories are declining to defunct with the advent of modern educational institutions. Gaddi people understand the importance of environment and therefore they do not hunt any animal or cut down the trees. They collect only the dried woods for fueling. They preserve water by preparing small water bodies. Their large participations are accomplished in plantation programs which are organized every year by different organizations. They receive herbal medicines from their traditional healers to cure disease like chickenpox or dhasar, joindis or karu patrish, fever or heat tap and kaf or kakar singhi. They also receive medicinal plants to treat minor injuries. Some of the ethnomedical plants like haptotri for teeth pain, Kunthal for cleaning stomach, Kalai, Jira, Napalu and Tulsi for cough. The remote villagers still believe jhar food to cure from diseases. It is known that formerly Gaddis had a political body, directed by their king. King used to appoint royal representatives to execute his rules over the subjects. Chad, Liknara, Darbel or Darbyal or Ugrakar, Mukadmas, Batwal and Jutiyar were appointed as active members in that political body and they were given responsibilities to maintain law and orders. But at present, modern political organization is existed for overall activities. Gaddis introduce themselves as cattle farmers and they are busy with cattle. 
In spite of this, many of them realized that the importance of formal educational system and they sent their children in nearby schools. All schools are found to establish on hilly tracks and constructions are always endangered of landslides. Very rarely cases, schools are having playground and boundary wall. Most of the schools are located on hills and therefore hardly concrete road is found there. All the schools are having drinking water and toilet facility. Electrification is available in many schools. First aid medical kits are available but medical team doesn't visit the school. Schools are having library facility but only few of the schools are facilitated with computers and internet access. Total 73.3% Gaddis are literate. Most of teachers belong to Gaddi and they are permanently working in schools. But numbers of teachers and schools are not sufficient. And a student-teacher ratio is not maintained as per rate act. In some schools, numbers of teachers are not enough in there. Local educated people are teaching with lump sum amount. Teachers mostly use Hindi for classroom transaction. But few of the teachers use both Hindi and rarely English as medium of classroom transaction. They also use their local dialect if there is any understanding problem of students. But all their textbooks are written both in Hindi and English languages. Many teachers prepare lesson plan and use teaching learning materials for explaining contents in classrooms. They encourage students to participate in group activities, quiz programs and paper pencil tests and promote individual works. Tribal folk tales and games are sometimes used to explain curricular areas. Many schools are having ICT facilities with poor internet connectivity. Computers are mainly used for office works. Only in few schools, students avail computer-based learning facility. Few of teachers rarely use mobile phone to accumulate e-materials and use it in classroom teaching. Parents do not have enough time to monitor activities of their school-going children. In spite of this, some of them examine day-to-day -day activities done in classroom and check the assigned homework. In few cases, parents bring their children in schools and pick up them after completing their daily work. PDM is held once a month and mostly they attend the meeting and discuss about the educational progress of their children. Mostly SMC members belong to Gaddi community. They mainly monitor punctuality of students and teachers, discussions of PTM and progress of students. They focus on school infrastructure facilities such as school building, furniture in classrooms, sports facilities, etc. Sometimes they look after pedagogical issues. Gaddi tribes inhabit in snow-laden Himachal Pradesh. They build up their huts on hills with oblique roofs to save from snowfalls. Except Hindi, they still speak their own Gadiki dialect and use Takri for writing. They use patriarchal tribal groups and preferring to form nuclear family. Their woolen shawls and cap are very well known. Jangi, Dori, Gurai and Dhandra are their famous traditional dances. Nowadays, their participation in modern education system is increasing. In spite of this, many Gaddis are still practicing cattle farming and they proudly acquaint themselves as cattle farmers. Gaddi Janjatayaha Him Yukteshu Shetreshu Vaneshu Nivasanti Techa Swasya Dainandin Jeevanam Vyatitum Vanjanya Padartha Nam Sangrahanam Kurvanti Tadapi Bahava Gaddi Janaha Adyapi Pashupalanam Kurvanti Techa Pashupalakaha Iti Garve Parichita Bhavanti Thank you.